Hello everybody and welcome back to my vegetarian food channel. So now for our second foodies month we're going to be doing a sauce month and our first recipe we'll be kicking off with is freshly homemade hollandaise sauce which is a personal favourite of mine. So the ingredients you will be needing for this sauce is 175 grams of butter, 2 tablespoons of wine vinegar, 4 tablespoons of lemon juice is the normal amount, I tend to add a bit more because I love the flavour of lemon. Six large egg yolks, a rather large pinch of salt, a nice large bunch of freshly picked chives, chopped or stiff. So first up, add the butter to a saucepan and heat it on low to medium. Now the thing with butter is if you burn it even a tiny bit, it will go very black and it will smell very bad and it will completely taste the flavour. So be very, very patient when melting butter. Even if it's a lot of butter, keep it on low. You do not want that stuff to burn. In another saucepan, we now want to add the wine vinegar and the lemon juice and bring it to a boil. Now here we are going to use my handy dandy little magic bullet. Now I love this machine so so much and the way we are going to do this recipe is slightly cheating. The original method is that you stick the egg yolks over a pan and mix it all together that way over a hot stove but here I'm just going to chuck the egg yolks into the blender and blend it up and with the original it's extremely hard because if you heat the yolk a little bit too much, even just a little bit too much, it'll go solid immediately and completely ruin the sauce and if you go too cold then the egg yolk refuses to bind the way it is with the rest of the ingredients so by blending it in the blender first it actually makes life much much easier you will see as the recipe continues now the method we are using here is exactly the same as you do with mayonnaise you add the oil very very slowly to the egg yolk and while the egg yolk is blending in the blender here you very very slowly add the lemon and vinegar. It's not quite as hard as when making mayonnaise but you still have to be quite careful. But it's still much much easier than using the method of mixing the egg yolk over a hot element because this way the egg yolk cannot get too hot or so hot that it will actually go solid. So as you can see the, the liquid in the jug is slowly climbing up the sides because it's getting higher and higher because I am adding the vinegar and the lemon little by little. All of this time, the butter on the element would have been heating up until it boiled and when it has boiled and you have finished adding the lemon and vinegar, you will then add the butter and very very slowly and this will thicken the sauce and make it super super creamy and super duper rich. And that's basically it. Stir in your snipped or chopped chives to give it a fresh green speckled look throughout the hollandaise sauce and you're pretty much ready to serve it on anything. I love making homemade eggs benedict and I've done it many many times because it's one of my favourite favourite dishes but homemade hollandaise sauce is just amazing and I love adding lots of vinegar and lemon because it's the best flavour. Now just one more thing before I go, don't be one of those people who waste if you've got leftover ingredients, like you've got egg white leftover from this recipe, don't throw it away. Stick it in a container if you're not going to use it straight away to make a pavlova or a meringue. Put it in the freezer, it'll last for ages and you can bring it out and defrost it and use it later. If you're keen to try out the eggs benedict recipe, pretty pretty simple. Toast some English muffins and slice them and butter them and then lay some spinach and some smoked salmon on top and then some poached eggs and then all you're left to do is pour your homemade hollandaise sauce piping hot all over the top of them. Well that's it, I hope you enjoy this recipe and watch out for the next sauce recipe coming your way.